Sadly, this iteration of the Clown Prince of Crime didn't leave me with a smile on my face. This is my non-spoiler review for Joker, Fully Adur, directed by Todd Phillips. It unfortunately is a step down, a major one, from the first film. What makes it even more heartbreaking is knowing that Todd Phillips originally intended for the first film to not have a sequel. However, he was willing to come back if WB and Joaquin Phoenix wanted to continue it. Where the film succeeds and triumphs is the performances of the actors. Both Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga knocked it out of the park with their brilliant acting abilities. Where the film ultimately suffers is in the story. In my personal opinion, the story was very superficial and lacked depth. I believe that the first film's story was so powerful and poignant in what it was trying to get across. Another thing that fails this film is the unnecessary and bloated runtime. While the film was entertaining, you felt the length. The other two areas in which the film did succeed were the cinematography and the musical numbers, which makes sense why Lady Gaga was the perfect casting choice. Although the musical numbers were a successful aspect in my opinion, because of the amount of them in the film, it ultimately is the reason why the film and the runtime felt bloated. With all that being said and a whirlwind of emotions, I will be rating this film a 2.5 out of 5. This is Neophyte educating my fellow Neophytes one movie at a time. And don't forget to leave a like and follow for more Neophyte movie recommendations and reviews.